Hi there, my name is Elder, I am Cloud Evangelist at Oracle, and today I'm going to talk to you about database manipulation with JPA. So JPA, actually the Java Persistence API, is one of the most popular and important APIs in Java E. Uh, it was based on the first former versions of Hibernate, a very popular framework, and then it got uh, put inside of the, the whole specification and became a standard. And today I will show you how to use it for deal with your data. So let's check it out. Well, when you are using JPA, you will map your your tables inside your application as entities. So we have here this annotation entity, and we also have another notation that is you table. If you maybe you have a different name for in between your class and your uh, table, in real table in database. You can use this this annotation to to specify the real name of your table, and here we have some queries. Uh, I will show you after. So going forward here, we have an ID. We have to have an ID for the table because in this case, uh, JPA will use it to generate the the sequence. Okay, so it's an ID. So we have here uh, an automatically generated uh, ID. And also the name and email, okay, it's just the exactly names in the table and in the class. And the rest of the class is just regular uh, Java, plain old Java object, or not, not, not nothing different than, than that, okay? And what else we have here, a user bin, it's a stateless bin, okay? Uh, and we are using it to manipulate our JPA entity. So we have an instance from your from your entity manager, and the, we are getting it from the the, the application server using that uh, persistence contest annotation, and we have some methods, regular methods for add a new new register, and we are using the entity manager to persist, and we also use it to remove here. And we are also using it to merge, to do updates on your table. And we also have a method for, for entity manager to find by ID. That's why we need ID on the, the entity. And we also have another one for find by name, where we are using the queries that we, we wrote on the, on the entity. So we have here the name of the query using user.findbyName. If you go there, user dot find by name is that one okay so it will run this query here select you from user where you name dot okay so is that the the how do you write queries in jpa and when we find by name we we can maybe not found not find that that register so it will launch this exception no result exception so then we just return no as the name it doesn't exist and we also have the find all that will just list all the the the, the register in the table and get it as a result. Okay. What I I've done here is write a unit test using JUnit so we can actually manipulate the database and see how this thing is going on. We are using here a beautiful framework for from OpenAGB when we can instantiate a EGB container inside of our user test, a unit test, sorry. So we have here the user bin, that's our bin that manipulating the, the JPA. And we set up once we we got the, the, the test running. And when the test is ended, it will close the container. And here we have all the methods being tested. So the, the ads and we then uh, use the assert assert equals here, update and remove. So let's build, and once it's built, it will run all those tests. Okay, so we have here the, the output. So it will uh, start up a new container, a, a open AGB container, and run the tests. So we run three tests, no failures. And all those those methods is quite good and working. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.